welcome back to Let's Play Gods Will Be Watching. This will be the second part of my challenge here. Chapter 2, 20 Days of Empty Silence. The Matriarch, Xeno Lifer's Mothership. Three days before the Space Lab hijacking. This is where you get introduced to a little bit more of the story. Where things become a tad more complicated. You're, uh, this is the same guy you were playing as... Uh, uh, basically, um, the guy that was uh, in, in charge of the hostages, who uh, Liam referred to as Abraham. His real name is Burden. Do you uh, do you get the metaphor? Uh, I figured this out about a day or so after I had already been playing this game, and I figured, out, oh right, Burden, because he's carrying all the sins of what he does. That uh, uh, turns out, Burden here is a double agent who is uh, working. Uh, for uh, for this government group, uh, he is uh, uh, he and basically what's going on here uh, is that uh, he's talking to them about how uh, Zeno uh, Zeno Lifer is uh, uh, he's trying to take them down uh, in a peaceful way, which is very slowly over time. Uh, his bosses would just prefer that he just put a bullet in the back of Liam's head. Uh, but he and his partner Jack, uh, he and them are, are good friends and also collaborators and agents. Uh, but it turns out that uh, what was in that lab was something called the Medusa virus. A uh, really, really horrible thing that's obviously going to come heavily more into play later on in the game. And this takes place actually before the hijacking of the lab. And, uh, and he's telling his, uh, his superiors... No, look, you know, just give me some more time, um, and I promise you uh, uh, that we will have results. Uh, nothing will be gained, uh, you know, by just killing him. Uh, and they're sick of waiting, but you know. And as we progress, we then come to this scene. So. When we last left off, uh, we had succeeded in our mission, but Burden here and his partner Jack were captured by the security team, and now we are in an interrogation room. Sorry, did I wake you? What's up? You look confused. Let us introduce ourselves. My name is Irving, and the big boy with the funny helmet is Alexander. He doesn't speak much, but he's a good fella. That is, unless you piss him off. But that ain't gonna happen. Am I right? Cut the crap. What do you want? Relax! You don't want to push things here. Trust me. My boss wants, wants to know about you. The usual drill, age, sex, location. Oh, and also, he wants to know what the fuck you were doing in our lab. So anyway, first question. What do you plan to do with the intel you stole from our database? Alright, so this is a new little puzzle. You can choose between Burden and Jack, and you have a variety of answers. You can provoke, and they'll beat the shit out of you. You can beg, and maybe they'll ease up on you. You can you can think, which will cause them to beat you up, but it, but it will increase the chance uh, of your lie being a success. Uh, and this is the thing, they will beat you to death. They will. And this will go on for quite a while. If you confess, you will give away actual information, but if you confess too many times, if you give up too much information, they will just kill you. And then you'll have to start all the way back over. And I'm not sure exactly how long in cycles uh, this goes on. Um, I have beaten this level uh, on easy. Uh, I have just never been able to beat it uh, under a particular condition. Um, and you'll you will see what that condition is. So for right now, I am going to think to get my get my lie to increase. Hey, are you deaf? And it starts out simple enough. They will just punch you in the face. Now you can also tell Jack to provoke or beg or think or whatever um if he provokes uh they will only hit him giving you a second to rest but that will not increase 
uh, your potential to be able to lie. Um, and see, and here's the thing. Uh, this is why you want your lie to increase. Um, such as, for, for example, uh, if you beg, basically, uh, as this whole session goes on, as you're being beaten, uh, and you think of lies, and if you tell a lie, or you confess, or if you are able to beg, and if they consider letting up on you, you will uh, regain a little bit of health. Uh, because as this goes on, you will see your health deteriorate. And, you know, and that's why you want to, you know, think and beg and try to be very tactful. You won't steal a car. You won't kill a baby. Piracy is a crime. Confess your, confess your plans. And they, and uh, and it actually took me a second uh, to to actually get that joke, but that was actually kind of a reference to that whole uh, you know uh, you know stealing movies bullshit propaganda that was going on, and that's still going on. Uh, I I still really like uh, Boondock's take on that. Stealing a movie is just like beating up an old woman and taking her money. You wouldn't do that, would you? We wanted to fund our cause by. By selling classified information and so he buys it and so we regain a little bit of health but the questions continue what were you looking for at our lab and we go back down to 10 percent uh this will be a bit pro problematic and you see some of these tools over here on this wall and you see this rack over here depending on how well you do you might see a bit more of this all right so we're gonna think some more and they're gonna punch punch us in the face what did you want in our database? We're going to think some more. Why are you interested in our research? 83%. We wanted to steal all the intel we could from the Holistic Empire. Information is power. That's the name of the government uh, that Liam is fighting against, which coincidentally you are working for. It makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. Next question. Alexander, stop! Yeah, so this is uh, the difference. Um, I believe in easy mode, uh, he'll only ask you uh, two questions. In normal mode, he'll probably ask about three or four. And in this way, uh, he is taking a break. Uh, and you will regain health uh, when you rest uh, throughout the night. So you think we've been through worse than this? We're alive, aren't we? For now, let's just focus on staying that way. Okay. Until when? And this is kind of when you're told, oh, we probably shouldn't confess too much, because if we do, we will give them too much information, and then they'll just kill us. You can give up some information, but if you give up too much, like, I think if you confess about five times or so, uh, then they will kill you. And not in one session, because they will remember uh, what all that you've confessed. Good morning. Ready for your next session? You know, this is a tough job, torturing people. I mean, I enjoy it, but it's harsh, you know? The most difficult part is when it becomes boring. Let me tell you, designing fun torture routines is a pain in the ass. It's like an old marriage, really. You start thinking of new ways to surprise your little darling. And without even noticing it, you end up dressed as a sailor with a strap-on ba banging at your back door. You know, I... Well, technically, I, I, I've, I've never actually been married. But Alexander was... You should listen. You should listen to the one. You should listen to one of his exes' exes' stories, man. But hey, let's talk about you. How did you manage to enter our space lab? And again, we just start off at ten percent. And if you noticed, he has a hammer in his hand. I wonder what he plans on doing with that. We're gonna think. And obviously, as the torture becomes a bit more intense, the, so does the damage. So. But because it's on easy mode, uh, it's obviously going to be a little bit lighter, so we can think. And I think also uh, uh, in normal mode, uh, your lie percentage uh, will only go up by a little bit. So 
We're going to see what a 77% lie gets us. I have a cousin working for the Holistic Empire. No, he didn't buy it, so he hits you for nothing. And you don't regain health uh, when you tell a bad lie. Seriously, it's a space lab. How did you get in with, without being noticed? Okay, so now we're at 70. We're going to think again. Hey, are you deaf? Free smoke in your face and bash you in the knee. Ow. Yeah, so at this point, these guys are near death. Can you travel through space and solid metal walls? All right, we got a 100% lie. Our hacker guy obliterated the system controlling your emergency exits in a matter of minutes. You should work on that. It makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. Next question. Who is your boss? And again, we're at 10%, so we're going to think. Hey, are you deaf? Um... Damn, I have to take a shit. Okay, so uh, this time we only had to answer uh, one question. Alexander, I told you we shouldn't have attended that jalapeno party. See you tomorrow, amigos. You know what they say. Eat fire, shit tears. Alright. What if we just die? I'm tired of fighting. I'm sorry, Jack, but I need you alive. I'll kill you when we escape if you want. But I don't have a chance if I if I have to resist this madman's wrath alone. Okay. This is the last favor I do for you. And surprise, surprise! Who's the, who's the hot blonde? Liam! Yes, he's come to try to save you, but, uh, but he tells you that uh, a, um, a rescue won't, won't be able to be there for another 20 days. So, but he can help uh, to try to keep you alive, like uh, over... Um, basically, uh, as he comes in, he will, he will bring you either one of three things, but he can only bring you one thing at the end of a day. So if he brings you painkillers, you can resist more damage, but over time you won't be able to heal as much. He, or he can bring you a healing kit and just restore you to full health. Or he can give you information that will allow you, uh, to be a lot easier to be able to lie to them. So, for tomorrow, I think I'm just going to ask for a healing kit. And then next time, I'm going to ask for information. Because there comes a point where no healing kit or painkillers is going to do you any good. Welcome back to another day of disturbingly pleasant Irving and Alexander show. Okay, so this is also uh, some new dialogue here that they've added. Uh, that's an interesting thing about this. Uh, it is that uh, each time you come to one of these phases uh, he never says uh, the same di the same dialogue it, it, it it's always something different now this is when it gets really disturbing on day three see those little pliers he has there what do you suppose he plans on doing with those tell me everything about your leader we got 41%. We're going to think. I want you to listen very carefully to this sound effect and just watch what he does. Uh, in case you don't know, he's ripping out your freaking tooth. Oh, God. All right. Well, we are we are near death. Uh, because this obviously does a lot more damage, so I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to confess. His name is Liam. Interesting. So your leader is Liam, K K King of Pussies. But there's still things above me. Who do you work for? Alright, so what are we at? We have a 78% lie, I'm going to think. Hey, are you deaf? No! No, not my molar, I just had that worked on, no! Oh, that was my gold tooth, too. Alright, we have a 100% lie. We are just people oppressed by the Holistic Empire. We are the, we are the resistance and we'll overthrow your empire. Who 
Who are you? Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna think. No. Uh. Yeah. So the first time I, uh, the first time I saw this scene, uh, on Rage Select, um, one I couldn't hear the sound effect, and one I didn't know, uh, what they were doing. Like I thought maybe they were just cutting into your face. No, they're. No, they're going into your mouth and they're they're ripping out a tooth. Okay, so they've had enough. And they're gonna take a break and they're gonna go grab some beers. I could use a drink myself. My mouth is getting very, very, very dry. But that won't be able to happen until after I finish this. You know, I miss Everdust headquarters. Shh, don't even mention that name while, while we are in here. Remember, whatever happens, never, never confess our true identities. I know, I know. Cut me some slack, man. Thank God Liam didn't come in as, as Jack was talking. I found a, I found a library. Do you want me to get you something to read? Oh yes, uh, oh yes. F fuck meds. Let's fight them with culture. Okay, I see you're not in the mood for humor. What should I bring you tomorrow? Uh, let's go with information. For right now, we're gonna get healed up. And... I'm wondering what's gonna happen tomorrow, cause... There's... Okay, no. It's, uh, it's the crowbar scene. Cause, um... So this is a bit of a spoiler but not really because uh, usually uh, by like day three or four uh, Jack will sometimes die on you because he can and he will and uh, yeah because so far like all throughout uh, this scenario I've never been able to keep Jack alive um, also because the tortures will will get a little bit more elaborate and begin to do a lot more damage like what's he gonna do with the crowbar that that he that he warmed up with the uh, with the torch on the end uh, but thankfully I uh, uh, first he threatens you you know so you are kind of give me given uh, a second to 74% I don't know if that's gonna work I'm a clone of a legendary soldier and my partner is the same but he but his experiment failed yeah, no. That was funny. Alright, we got to think. And what's he gonna do with the crowbar? He's gonna stab me in the balls! Come on, be polite and tell me who you are. I really shouldn't, because that, cause that just wouldn't be good. My name is Samuel Kinners, and he is Orson Blum... Blumkovich. We were we were rebels from the Legion Desert. Makes sense. Where are your headquarters? We're at 10%. We're gonna think. And Jack is gonna get burnt in the face. Jack is near death. Oh boy. If I uh I would like to make it with Jack intact. I'm gonna see about trying to beg. Perhaps you don't understand the concept of torture. Ah, jeez. This is not good. This is really not good. Uh, I'll confess. We handle our operations from our mothership. Undefeated for seven years, so don't so don't even try. Interesting. So your leader is Liam. You live on board a spaceship, always on the run. That's how you cowards roll, I guess. There's still things above me. Alexander, my back is killing me. Okay, so he's gonna take another break. All right. And we come to another break in the day. And I think this time, uh, this time we'll, we will be receiving information. Uh, so the other, 
Uh, the only other two different methods that I've seen is that the wall will come into place with, with this chain and rack thing where they will stretch you, but that's only if Jack survives. Or they start playing Russian roulette with you. I actually had uh, one moment in here uh, that was just a random piece of uh, dialogue uh, where Lunt, uh, where Liam came in. Here he is, my favorite blonde. I, th I thought I was your favorite blonde. Don't fight. Don't fight because. Don't fight because of me. You, you two are my favorite hostages about to be free. Uh, let's go with a healing kit tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, so there was one random piece of dialogue where Liam came in and he said, uh, Abraham, will you marry me? And, uh, and, uh, and, and Burton responded, shut up and kiss me, you fool. That it was just so random. So yeah, Jack is on the rack. This is not going to be easy. Cause... Because if you get to crank two, he splits in two and dies. So, and I'm determined to try to make it through this with him. Okay, so this time we start with a 100% lie. Alright, so that worked. And you can't select Jack for this one. Alright, we're going to think. I actually wonder, uh, even if on Izzy, uh, if he can survive one more crank. But that would mean I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to think one more time and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Because I don't want to give up any more information and risk getting us killed. So, but uh, yeah, I'm going to think... Jack. Nope. Nope, he still dies after two. Uh, but the game still continues. I, it, it'll only end uh, if Burden here dies. What's up with you? I think you'd cry more, scream, or at least threaten me. This is a new one. Oh, I see. You didn't like him. Or you are just a psychopath. Come on, it's not funny if you don't care. I don't know what you're expecting. He died on a mission. We were professionals. I won't, I won't waste his sacrifice with a crappy lament. So get your shit together and ask me the next question. I'm not in the mood right now. You think you're a smart ass, but I'll make you feel sorry. I will make you cry, soldier. You'll need more than a ridiculous set of jokes then. Yeah, so yeah, so this game gets really intense. Um, but here's kind of my problem with a little bit of the narrative. Now, maybe this is something that they fix. Ooh, actually, uh, they took out, uh, well, um, as I understand it, uh, if Jack dies on the rack, uh, they will take away his body. Now, here's the thing. Jack appears here as this ghost, or at least what is obviously assumed as a ghost. But here's the thing, though. If you make it out of this situation, which you're meant to, uh, and you, uh, uh, okay, so spoilers, uh, if you make it through this whole torture session for the next couple of days, or however long it's supposed to go on, you are rescued uh, by your uh, by your compatriots. Uh, the enemies uh, that Liam is kind of, is kind of fighting against, uh, this agency that you work with. Um... And you are given a new mission where you're sent to a planet. Jack is there. Uh, like, he's there in the briefing room and he's there, you know, when you're talking to the other recruits. I thought the whole time, so is Jack still a ghost? Or, or is he alive? Cause, because they don't show him, you know, being... Uh, 
uh, resurrected or cured or worked on or anything. He's just there. And here's the thing. He will talk to the other people and they will talk back to him. So that's kind of the part that really doesn't make any sense. And that's kind of where the narrative kind of falls flat. So I'm wondering, since they've obviously added a few other things, like they've lightened up the difficulty a little bit, and then they've, I guess, added uh, some additional dialogue, I wonder now if they have changed it to where nobody responds uh, to Jack if he, if he died during the interrogation. So now we come to Russian Roulette. This gun has seven bullets. And he will ask you a question. Each time you do not answer, he he will fire. What are we at? We're at 78%. We're gonna think and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. Empty. Alright. We have a 100 percent lie. We are gonna lie. We wanted to steal all the intel we could from the Holistic Empire. Information is power. Uh was that in the previous one that we gave that answer? I can't remember. All right. We are going to think. Fingers crossed. Oh, I'm dead. Nope, blew my brains out. Fuck, I killed him. Boss won't like this. Ah, but what the hell, he deserved it. Well, tell him it was you. Okay, Alexander. Thank you, buddy. You're the best friend a torturer could ever have. Well, uh, okay, that was chapter two. And uh, I have actually already beaten uh, chapter two. Uh, I would like to show the ending, but uh, I don't know. So uh, once again, this is uh, Gods Will Be Watching, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, I would like to, you know, go back and see about trying to complete it and try to keep Jack alive. But like I said, it's kind of difficult to try to keep him alive. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, I might come back to this again. Uh, I just don't want this video to go on much longer than it probably already has. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you again next time. See ya.